I have over 200 bottles of Clorox bleach I am giving away with new winners picked every day. Kool-Aid, lemon, and lime flavored. All you have to do to get yourself entered is to leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on, and most importantly, comment your phone number and social security number with the flavor of bleach you want. Hello hello hello, it's Lash here. Back at it with another video. Did you enjoy the new Clorox bleach giveaway clip? If you did why not leave a like. Anyways if you are new here be sure to subscribe for more dope ass content, and remember to vote in the poll. Today's video we will be looking at why you should not play Clash Royale on the new iPhone X. There are some major flaws with it. As many of you guys know, Apple released the new iPhone X about a week ago. No pun intended. The iPhone X costs a thousand dollars, with a full screen display and a couple new features. You may be asking, why shouldn't you play Clash Royale on it? Well, two reasons. Reason number one. There is no home screen. On the iPhone X, in order to get to the home screen you have to swipe up, which is bad because if you like to drag the cards in Clash Royale, you may accidentally trigger the home screen to pop up making you lose. An easy fix to this problem is to just turn the iPhone X upside down. But the annoying black band will be in the way. Speaking about the black band, even if you don't turn the phone upside down, the black band will cover part of your opponent's king tower. This is bad because if your opponent places a troop behind the king tower, you won't be able to see it delaying your reaction which may cause you to lose. Anyways, these are the flaws I noticed with the new iPhone. If you have any opinions leave them below in the comments. I love reading comments. If you enjoyed this video please drop a like and subscribe. We are almost at 7000 subscribers, that is insane, thank you all for that. Have an annoying day. Actually never mind. Let's look at some stupid comments to fill up some time. The first comment says. Shut the hell up about Jake Paul. In that video I made a Jake Paul joke. Looks like this Jake Pauler can't handle a little joke. You know this kid is a Jake Pauler, because he probably uses his mom's phone to watch YouTube. Also his username is probably his real life name and his profile picture is of a 10 year old kid. That is all I could find for today. Have a Jake Pauler day. Actually never mind again. I have time to roast one more kid. The next comment says. Screw you Jake Paul is the only good YouTuber so shut up. After reading this guy's response, it seems he may have been joking. But what type of name is Oliver Pear? Like seriously who names their kid Oliver Pear? And also you know this kid is a Jake Pauler cause he doesn't have a profile picture and he has very bad grammar. Anyways that wraps things up. Have a trigger day.